after spending almost two weeks here in Afghanistan, this is in fact the first night I'm out by myself. So, hello. I'm walking solo here in Kabul. Yeah, and in fact, it's not that late. It's a bit after 7 p.m. because the sun sets early here. But I will stay out today until 10. So, to see what nightlife is there in Kabul. And is it safe to walk alone as a foreigner holding a camera in your hand? This is what we're going to find out today. So, as you can see, it's quite dark. The lightning is not very strong. In fact, my hotel has an electricity blackout. I don't understand why my hotel always has a blackout while the rest of the street is still on. Uh, I guess they have some problems there. But uh, nonetheless, you can see all the shops are basically walking. They have lights, they're still open. Here are clothing stores. Yes, hello, the kids are following, they're curious. Hi! Hello, hello. Do you speak English? Afghanistan. Afghanistan. Yeah. Afghanistan, Sinabad. Yeah. All right, you see there are shops open, they have food, taxis. Yeah, in fact, there are no taxi apps here. Um, so you just hail a taxi on the street. But the prices are reasonable. Even though if they rip you off, maximum would be two pounds for a taxi ride but generally it should be anywhere between 50 cents and a dollar within the city center so here's a small uh, shop yeah you can get everything here's a restaurant here's a shoe cleaner who is underage yeah here's a restaurant they have uh, kebab and chicken yes you can hear the prayers in the distance on the other street side there's some other shops Honey, like specialized shops only in honey. There are some homeless people. There is a lot of poverty because of the Western sanctions. I hope they could be lifted. This is not police, these are just private cars. And uh, yeah, there, in fact, there are shops that are out of business. Yeah, as the economy is not flourishing at the moment. Not only in Afghanistan, but worldwide in 2022. And it's very noisy as well at night. Yeah, because of the people, because of the cars, the traffic. Yeah. So in fact, right now I'm going to see Emma. She's living in a very good hotel here in uh, Kabul, but uh, it's fifty dollar a night, which I can't afford. That's why I'm staying in my cheap Chinese guest house, which is only fifteen dollar a night. So uh, much more affordable. But on the other hand, I do have the blackouts slow internet that's why actually i'm bringing my laptop as well to upload my videos because in my hotel it takes the entire night to upload a four or five gigabyte video depending on the day yeah uh, so that's why i am going to see her she lives uh, according to google maps it's 25 minutes away it is quite a walk so I'm thinking to find a cheap hotel nearby so I can often go there to upload stuff and also for my work as I still teach German. Yeah. So here's some other stores. You can see they're waiting, the gas, old fashioned, here's a barber. Yeah, but I heard uh, they shouldn't cut beards anymore, according to the Taliban. Yeah. It's not illegal, it's like music. It's frowned upon. The barber cuts the uh, faces out. Here are more shops. Yeah. People are using another dental clinic. I think I see just uh, ten, uh, no, three dentists uh, within five minutes of my home. There's something related to weddings. Yeah, so weddings are still possible, but no music is played because of the Taliban regime. That's a beauty parlor, so to get ready for the wedding. Real estate, another hairdresser. Now the streets are getting up more lightly. It feels a bit like uh, winter here. It's getting a bit cold at night. The lights are beautiful. Here's one of the biggest supermarkets of the neighborhood. 
I have still uh, haven't been inside. Maybe I'm gonna make a video about the supermarket and the prices. Yeah, here you can see cigarettes, Marlboro, all the brands, and uh, Afghan cigarettes as well. Hello. Oh. I just realized I forgot my hat. I like to wear my hat, but not now. So, the bread shop. Assalamu alaikum. Yes, the uh, store all the same. The popcorn, chips, very common, energy drinks, corn. This is the local culture. Yeah. Dark streets. I feel like only the main street has electricity, and the side streets are cut off for whatever reason. Yeah. Another restaurant. Kebab, shawarma, chicken, the typical things you see over and over again. More beauty, the generator as we need it. Here they are closing already, shortly after 7. So apparently there is not much nightlife. No bars, no cafes. I think at 10 p.m. the city is just dead. Nothing will have open. Uh, I've never been out that late, in fact. I like to get up early and uh, be out of daytime. Especially, you see also, the camera can't film very well at night. You don't see the details, it's gray. So I love sunshine, daytime. It's just today because Emma was busy and I was busy. We're just meeting at night, but it's an opportunity to show you the city at night and also that it is still safe. Yeah, especially since the crime rate is very low, all you have to worry is terrorism and uh, it's not that common. So, another, all the same. And the shops kind of repeat, clothing, food, restaurants, hairdressers. the food <laughs> the kids pharmacy clothing 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 so now we're here in the dissection that means we are halfway through over there you can see some shops with toys a phone shop electronics lottery Food, clothing, yes. <clears throat> so I guess that's it because things are repeating. I just want to show you it's safe, nice, and you can just walk around without security. So hopefully more tourists can come to Afghanistan, support the country and also show that it's safe uh, so that the country can improve. Hopefully. I love Afghanistan, I love the people. Yeah, what is this? Google fashion. Oy. Interesting. Yeah. Yesterday I thought uh, they blocked Afghanistan on WhatsApp, but then I heard it's a global outage of WhatsApp, so it wasn't the case. Everything is accessible, there is no censorship in Afghanistan, at least of the main websites. Yeah, kids are following again. And I also have to see the map. I have to see the map where I'm going. Because somewhere soon I have to turn left. Hello, how are you doing? Do you speak English? No English? Huh? No English. Dari. Pashtun. Dari. Pashtun. English. What language? No, he doesn't understand. So the language here is Dari. Although in the south, in the Taliban, they speak Pashtun which is another dialect and maybe there are more in the countries uh, in the country, I don't know so here we have some food I don't know what this is Assalamu alaikum something sweet I think uh, ah yes, chicken soup oh hey, delicious he speaks English, so I have to check on the chicken soup later although I try not to eat meat I want to be uh, I'm not vegan, but I try to avoid meat as animal products as much as possible 
Yeah, although it's not easy here. Yeah, since most options, huh? Yeah. Uh, I don't know, I don't understand. Uh, he has, maybe he wants money or food, but I don't understand. So over here on the left you can see a very fancy wedding hall. Oh, on the right is a little mosque for prayers. Yeah. And on the left, wow, you see a beautiful wedding hall. Would love to attend an uh, Afghan wedding one day. Oh, at least there was some Taliban passing by. Yeah. And maybe there is a wedding today. I see many people are coming. Yeah. Oh no, I'm sorry. Wow. Majestic. Yeah. Yeah. By the way, the boy is still here. Please don't blame me for not giving him money. I tried before. But if you give them more kids coming and they follow you forever, they never leave you. Yeah, that's the thing. But even if you don't give them anything, they still follow you for a long time. And many times I don't have change as well. Um, there was a video I tried to give them candy, but they stole everything from me, so I couldn't distribute them equally. Please don't blame me for it. I am trying my best here. And uh, yeah, let me know what I can do to help people. Maybe if there's an organization, I could start a fundraiser to help people. Um, but other than that, I don't really know what to do. Time change, now it's 9.45 at uh, night. So quarter to 10 p.m. Uh, the streets are getting emptier. As you can see, uh, there are still cars on the street, some people, some homeless. Here the cafeteria is uh, closed or still open? I think it's closed. No, it's still open. So, there are still some places open at this time. I've never been out this late. I've never even been out at dark before. And I've been here, this is day 11. Yeah. Is it safe? I don't know, but I think so. So, here's some security people. Over there is a restaurant. So there's still places to hang out, but as you know that music is uh, frowned upon or illegal, uh, there are no bars and stuff. I saw um, yeah, shisha hangout places, which could still be open. Um, but I have never been there, so I just uh, walk the streets here. There's also some Taliban checkpoint. I don't know what it is. There are very few dogs here. I haven't seen many. Let's see homeless on either side. Here is the Uzbekistan place. I think it's some kind of restaurant. I have the feeling that only the main streets are lit on. And the side streets have no electricity. That's why my hotel always uses a generator for most of the time. And that's why I think I also move tomorrow somewhere downtown. As much as I love these Chinese people, the food, the prices, I want to go close to downtown so I can go back to the hotel where I just met Emma and uh, use it to upload my videos as well. It's very fast in there, 30 megabit. While elsewhere it's not that fast. The kiosk still opens. As you see over here as well, opposite of the wedding palace. It's about two hours later than before. Lots of cars there, so apparently something is going on inside. Which I assume might be a wedding. But the rest is empty. Beautiful. So, I'm not sure if there's a nightlife. Maybe it's undercover. So what I see, there are just some shops that are open, restaurants and uh, poorly lit dark streets. That's all there is. Here, the restaurant is still open.
Interesting, what's going on? Crime? Weird. So, I guess they're just having some fun. In the supermarket. Yeah, so I'm almost back home. So that's it, as you can see. There's not much out here, but one stays. Good evening. Oh yes, he has the bread. Hello. He has the bread. So there's not much out here at night, but there's one thing, and there's safety. I mean, <laughs> that's how I feel at least. At least I feel safe. Yeah, and uh, it's, I have never heard of any crimes here. So thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video and uh, hope to see you in the next video. Have a good night, a good day, a good morning, wherever you are.